Hello, everyone. Welcome. Glad you're with us today. This is 60 Ways to Grow Your List. This is one of our most fun webinars to do. 60 Ways to Grow Your Email Marketing List. It's presented today by our company, The Countess Group. We are a marketing and communications consultancy based in the Orlando area. Uh, what we do is we help businesses and nonprofits like yours gain an unfair advantage over your competition. We're all looking to capture the most wallet share. Uh, we're always looking to grow our revenues no matter whether we are for profit or nonprofit. And what we help you do is uh, help you gain that unfair advantage by using targeted marketing to really help you achieve your objectives. We are full service. Uh, we handle strategic marketing and communications, email marketing, of course, social media marketing. We can help you optimize your website. Uh, if you're interested in pay-per-click advertising, Facebook advertising, PR, video marketing, whatever it is, we can help you gain an unfair advantage over your competition with truly targeted marketing. And what that really means to you as someone who is uh, an owner or an employee of a business or an association is that we can really help you hit your target in a way that gets you better results and saves you money, gets you the results you need more quickly than you might have been able to do before. I'm going to mention this in a few moments. Um, toward the end of the webinar, we'll talk about the Gain and Unfair Advantage Marketing Workshop. Our next one is September 14th. Uh, it'll be all day from 9 to 4 at the Marriott Residence Inn at the Orlando Airport. Um, if you sign up for that webinar, not webinar, but a live workshop today, uh, I realize that the slide says on or after July 1st, it's $299. Uh, there's an early bird price of $249. We will honor that price today if you would like to attend. As long as you use VIP code, uh, I'm sorry, promo code VIP1. And I've just entered that information in the chat box. Uh, that's a live link that you can click on. It'll take you to a landing page to help you learn more about the workshop. And once again, if you're interested, you could save $50 using promo code VIP1. What will we do at that workshop? Uh, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to have a much more effective marketing presence and campaign. We're going to spend the day teaching you about best practices on email marketing, social media marketing, how to get your website really working the way you would like it to work, getting you the traffic that you would like to get to your website, teach you about public relations, and so on. So um, we'll leave that in the chat box for the balance of the webinar. Uh, who is Ken Countess? Well, I'm your presenter. I spent over 25 years at corporate America at such well-known Fortune 100 companies as Motorola, Marriott, and a company now owned by CVS. I'm a continuing partner in Ascend Marketing. I've been uh, associated with them for 10 years. And at the Countess Group, uh, we've been in business for uh, over 15. We are in our 16th year, and our clients have included some of the names that you see at the top of the screen, but mostly we help small to medium-sized businesses and nonprofits just like yours and just like mine. I like to say that I play 70 hours a week and play as code for work. You know that when you're associated with a smaller organization, it's a 24-7 job. You're thinking about your business or nonprofit almost 24 hours a day. So we're here to help you. We're master certified by Constant Contact. We are actually one of only four winners in the world of the Authorized Local Expert Leadership Award. And we've also been recognized both as a winner of the All-Star Award and our clients have won that award as well. Here's our marketing uh, information. Uh, if you'd like to reach out to us, you can obviously reach us by something called a telephone. Uh, you can also send us an email or reach out to us on social media or go to our website. I would encourage you, no matter what, following this 
webinar, be sure that you do connect with us. And you can connect with us a variety of ways uh, that are most convenient to you. Um, connect with us at our company Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Countess Group. Or uh, connect with us also on LinkedIn. There are 6,000 companies, people and companies following us on Facebook. There are 4,000 people following me on LinkedIn. It's linkedin.com slash in slash my name, Ken Countess. If I see an invitation from you as an attendee of this event, I will absolutely accept your invitation. Well, we're here to talk about how to get the most out of your email marketing campaigns. Did you know that in a survey recently done, 77% of consumers preferred to be marketed to via email marketing? And that's compared to other types of online marketing, uh, websites, banner ads, print advertising, banner advertising, radio broadcast, and so on. More than three quarters of us were all consumers. We prefer to be marketed to via email. And here's what a recent article in Forbes said. It said that customer acquisition via email has more than quadrupled in the last four years. That's pretty astonishing. When you think about the fact that all we hear about all the time is social media, and yet email marketing, which some consider to be the original social media, email customer acquisition has more than quadrupled, even though every day we hear about Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. Also, that study found that customers who come to businesses via email tend to shop more and spend more. Clearly, a huge vote for email marketing. Uh, here's a question for you, another one of our polls. Tell me, are you currently using email marketing for your business or your nonprofit? Just select one of those three answers. Is it yes or no, or you're not sure? Go ahead and select one of those uh, three options and hit the Submit button. We'll wait until more people have voted before we close out the poll. Okay, very good. And here's what you said. Not too surprisingly, nearly 90% of those who are on this webinar are currently using email marketing. And that's a great thing. Um, and there's about 13% who are not yet using it. I would expect that by the end of this webinar, uh, you too will be convinced that it's time to start using this amazing, powerful tool. How powerful? Well, email marketing has a return on investment of 44 to 1. What that means is if you were to have spent $100 on an email marketing campaign, you would receive, on average, $4,400 in revenue. Extend that. A $1,000 annual campaign could result in, on average, $44,000 in revenue, in donations, or what have you. Making email marketing the strongest marketing tool for businesses and small businesses. Now, let's get into those 60 ways to grow your list. The first seems Pretty obvious, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Just use a paper sign-up sheet. If people are coming to your event or your venue, your location, just put out a piece of paper and ask them to give you their first name, last name, and email. Number two, ask face-to-face. -face. If you ask someone for their email address, the odds are pretty strong they'll give it to you. The latest data said that 57% of people will give you an email address if you certainly just simply ask them for it. Third, check your database. That's a great way to grow your email marketing list. Uh, did you know that if you have a LinkedIn account, for instance, you can export your contacts from LinkedIn and import them into an email marketing database? Number four, Ask your friends and family. It is shocking to me how frequently people say, well, I'm shy. I don't really want to ask my friends and family. But those are the people who know you best. They trust you most. You're most credible. Uh, word of mouth marketing is great. So ask your friends and family if 
they will give you an email address so they can join your list and when they join your list and get email content from you that they find valuable they'll share your content with their network number five put a fishbowl on the counter you have a restaurant you have a, uh, any sort of a venue any kind of a location if you have a trade show booth put a fishbowl out there and have people drop their card in the bowl. It isn't necessary to give them an incentive, although you might. If you have a restaurant, you may offer 10% off uh, anybody who puts their uh, card in the bowl. You may draw for a free meal. Uh, there are any number of ways using being creative that you can get people and send them to give them, uh, have them give you their business card. Number six, over the phone. Next time you're on the phone with a supporter or a customer, keep that conversation going and ask them to join your list by giving you an email address. Uh, number seven, use the sidewalk sign. You'll see very frequently now, especially during the months if you live in an area that is frequented by tourists, those sidewalk signs are out there. And don't be too surprised if the next time you pass by one of those signs, uh, you have people encouraging you to sign up for the weekly email list. We'll skip number eight for now and go to number nine. Uh, number nine is to add a sign-up form to your Facebook page. It's very, very easy to do. Uh, just by a show of hands, go ahead and use the control panel right now. Go to your control panel and let me know if uh, you have a constant contact email marketing account. If you do, I've got some really interesting news for you. Go ahead and raise your hand if you're using Constant Contact. I see Jan, Beth, Christina, Marilou, Chris. Uh, there are probably some others here. There are so many people on the webinar, I, I can't display the entire list. Um, okay, so let me thank you for participating, and let me tell you that within your Constant Contact account, under the Contacts tab, uh, you can easily add a sign up for my newsletter button to your company Facebook page. Uh, number 10, ways to grow your list. Tweet it. Ask people to join your list. You can actually send them to a join my list link that ties them back to your constant contact account. Number 11, update your Facebook page update the cover photo. What you see in the image here is an image of a beach and in the lower right hand corner it says get travel deals delivered right to your inbox. Join our email list below. And below, and I'll move my pointer over, you can see that somebody can join this person's email list uh, just by clicking a button on the company Facebook page. By the way, if you have any uh, need for additional information after the webinar, feel free to reach out to me. Later in the webinar, I'll give you a link that you can click on uh, where you can get a free 15-minute marketing consultation, completely free. Other ways to grow your list. Number 12, buy a Facebook ad. Uh, Facebook ads are very inexpensive compared to other paid uh, click ad campaigns. Uh, when you take out Facebook campaigns, um, if you have a specific audience in mind, you can very easily target just that audience. And this way you have that targeted marketing that I referred to at the outset of this webinar. And you can, at a very, very low cost, use Facebook ads to grow your email marketing list. Uh, if you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and use that too. This is a screenshot of the Constant Contact uh, YouTube channel. Get people to subscribe to the channel, and then you can also have them join your newsletter list at the same time. Skipping number 14 for the moment, number 15 is to join a LinkedIn group. LinkedIn is an incredibly powerful tool. Uh, we teach many, many classes on how to use LinkedIn to your benefit. In fact, we are conducting a uh, how to generate great leads using LinkedIn. Uh, were you doing that as a webinar? Uh, that'll be next uh, Thursday afternoon if you're watching us live. Uh, that is on July 21st. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, go ahead and use the question box and say, yes, I am interested. 
or send me information about the LinkedIn webinar and we'll go ahead and do that. But the point is that LinkedIn, if you're looking to reach a professional community, uh, that is the way to do it. There are 400 million people using LinkedIn. There are 2 million LinkedIn groups. So undoubtedly there are groups that cater to your expertise and you can get much more information um, from them and you can become a thought leader uh, within LinkedIn groups and really grow not only your visibility and exposure but your newsletter list as well. Uh, number 16 is to join a Google Plus community. A Google of, uh, Plus of course is owned by Google and you can use your Google Plus uh, to help grow your email marketing list. Uh, thank you Beth, Anita and Chris. Um, we'll send you information about that LinkedIn webinar. Uh, anybody else that is interested, let me know and we'll go ahead. We'll be very happy to send a link to the web page that will give you more information about it. Uh, number 19, add a sign-in link to your social bios. Here you see the Twitter page for a restaurant chain called Boloco. Uh, Boloco is based in New England as well as Maryland, D.C. and Rhode Island. <clears throat> And um, what they do on their LinkedIn page, rather on their Twitter page, is they have ways for people to sign up for their newsletter list. I'll share a quick story with you that uh, when I was in Boston about two years ago, on a Monday night it was snowing and cold and I had been cooped up in a hotel for a few days and I walked down the street uh, just to get out of the hotel about 10 o'clock at night and the Boloco restaurant there was absolutely packed full of customers. Uh, they know how to use social media. That's the only way they market is using email marketing and social media. Number 20, uh, sample your content on Pinterest. Create a simple Pinterest board. Pin your email newsletter to the Pinterest board when it comes out. The great thing about Pinterest is people are poking around looking for pins that are of interest to them all the time. Pinterest has great analytics and you'll get a great sense of how popular your posts have been. Number 21 seems a little obvious, but we'll put it up there just the same. Add a sign up form to your website. And once again, if you're using your Constant Contact account, go under Contacts and you'll find the software code that will enable you to easily add sign-up forms to any or all pages on your website. But number 23 is a bit of a caution. Go ahead and have that sign-up form there, but keep it short. You don't want people to have to spend their lifetime filling out forms to give you information when really all you need is an email address just to get things started. Once they're on your list, feel free to go and ask them for additional information. But your prime motivation is to grow your marketing list, so keep it short. Add a way for people to sign up for your list on your blog. Uh, that's number 24. Blogs are increasingly important. They've come back into vogue because they are <clears throat> keyword search friendly, and that's how many times your expertise will be found on the web. We'll skip over a couple of less important ones, less pertinent ones, and go to 27. And that is to encourage you to test different calls to action. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, people respond to different kinds of language different ways. So don't be afraid in this virtual world to try different messaging to get people to respond to your request. So here you can see a couple of examples, one being join our list to learn more about what we have to offer, and another one is join our list to receive exclusive discounts. And you see a couple of other examples there. Don't be afraid to test. Number 29 along those same lines is optimizing your online listings. 49% of small businesses have never updated their listings. Um, why would you update it? Well, if you're a restaurant, a tavern, for example, maybe you accept different credit cards. Maybe you've changed locations. Maybe your menu has changed. If you're a service organization, maybe you have new products. If you're a B2B business, maybe there are different markets you're looking to target. Be sure that you optimize your online listings. Number 31, collect emails with an online survey. 
Constant Contact and other services as well offer great survey tools that make it very, very simple for people who participate in the survey to give you uh, their uh, contact information. Um, make that request for their contact info either at the beginning or at the end, not somewhere in between. Number 33, put a sign-up link in your newsletter. And you may wonder, I often get asked this question, we're in front of about 3,000 attendees a year. You never know where people are going to find your emails. So when we say that you or recommend that you ought to put a sign-up link in your newsletter, that's because your email newsletter may be shared among people who are not on your list. So the original individual that received your email may actually share it on social media. The people who then receive it, you want them to have an opportunity to sign up and join your list as well. It's a great way, inexpensive way, highly effective way for people to join your list at no cost to you. Be sure that you add social share buttons to your email. Uh, if you take a look over here to the top part of the uh, uh, screen where I'm uh, moving the red dot, uh, that's a social share button. That's a way for people to share your newsletter on their email or rather social media feed. Also be sure to add the forward to a friend button that's built into your, social, your email marketing platform as well. Uh, the forward to a friend button is just a very simple drag and drop and that makes it very obvious and very clear that it's possible for your readers to forward your email over to people that they know. Your email signature should also have a way for people to sign up to join your list as well. And uh, here's another way, another tool that's available to you. And this tool, by the way, is available free. Uh, it's to use PicMonkey. And what you can do with PicMonkey or other services very similar to it is to add text down at the bottom of an image. You can see where I've got the red dot moving around the screen right now. Uh, this is a way for you to very quickly uh, add other content to your uh, cover photos. Uh, people tend to respond very well to seeing imagery and text on top of uh, images. I will show you later how to use text to join. Um, we are going to show you how to use it to sign up for a free trial of Constant Contact. But one of the features inside an existing Constant Contact account is something they call the text to join feature, which enables people to sign up for your email newsletter right from their smartphone. Another technology that's becoming increasingly popular, although it's been slow on the uptake in North America, it's very popular in Europe and Asia, is using QR codes, where if someone finds your QR code um, on a brochure, on a window sign, and so on, they can just snap a picture using their smartphone or tablet and immediately be able to sign up for your newsletter. Uh, that uh, QR code, by the way, is already set up for you in your Constant Contact account. You can use smart tablets as well. There are some great applications out there that enable you to have people sign up for your email newsletter quickly and easily. Uh, this is an example using the app called iCapture. Number 42, if you're giving out brochures, pamphlets, flyers at your store or office, let people know that your email is the best source for up-to-date information. So while you may be handing them a brochure that's dated the year 2016, perhaps July, uh, toward the end of the year, maybe you do have some new products and services. You want people who receive your print collateral to be able to easily sign up for your newsletter and that's a way for them to learn the latest information going on at your business or nonprofit. Um, make sure that you add ways for people to sign up for your newsletter on your business card. Uh, in this example, you see a QR code. It doesn't have to be that. We use a special URL to have people join our newsletter list. Um, and if we have time later in this webinar, I'll include that in the chat box. But um, once again, 
your mailing list is probably one of your most valuable assets. And so what you want to do is capture as many email addresses as possible. And by the way, keep your content relevant to everyone that's receiving your email. That's the way to keep them on your list for a very long time. Number 45 is to add a way for people to join your email list on a menu. Of course, that's if you're a restaurant. Um, if you are regularly shipping product out, use your shipping boxes. There is so much real estate on that box. Take advantage of it. Use it to promote your products and services. Put a QR code on your boxes and encourage customers to sign up to join your list. When you have people sign up for an event, such as how you signed up to attend our webinar. Uh, you can capture their email address. Uh, it's a simple checkbox. Here again, I'm showing you by using the uh, red dot uh, where that appears on a registration page that is built into your Constant Contact account uh, so that this way anytime people sign up for any of your events, uh, they have the option to uh, receive your newsletters and you could set it up so the default is yes, you, the, you, they do want to join, or you could set the default up to no, they'd rather not. They'd have to physically take an action. Number 48, collect email addresses at your event. Particularly if you're doing workshops or trade shows, um, maybe it's a chamber of commerce breakfast, maybe it's a round table. Don't be shy about bringing along a clipboard and ask people to fill out their name, address, email address, of course, uh, phone number if you choose. But once again, the most important element for you is that you collect their email address. Once you have the email address, then you can reach out to them at a future date to get the rest of their information. Uh, but your database is your gold mine. Number 49 is be a sponsor at an event. Uh, so frequently, we overlook one of the most cost-effective ways to capture uh, new clients and new contacts and new prospects. Uh, sometimes with a very simple $50, $25, $100 sponsorship, uh, you will get additional recognition at uh, some event. Uh, and, and I'm not necessarily talking about an event that you're sponsoring on your own, but rather maybe you become a co-sponsor of another event. And when you become a sponsor, oftentimes the, the premier sponsor or the host will allow you to capture contact information. And because you've been a sponsor, because you're getting that additional recognition, it really does warm people up to the notion of the, uh, being a part of your uh, newsletter list because you're a good social organization. Number 50 is to book a speaking engagement. Uh, if people are interested in what you have to say, there's a good chance they'll be interested in what you write in your emails. Let people know that you have a resource that they can sign up to receive. And by that same token, if you need a speaker for one of your upcoming events, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we're contacted all the time and are very happy to deliver uh, marketing presentations to an audience. And we do customize every presentation uh, for the audience. And that's a great way for you to get additional exposure for your own organization. Uh, once again, if you have a venue, uh, use table tent cards. Um, they are obviously inexpensive. They're very popular. You can add QR codes to make it even easier for someone with a smartphone or tablet to quickly join your list. Start a loyalty program. Loyalty programs can be free. We have one that's called the VIP Partner Program, wherein if you are a Constant Contact subscriber, you can join our VIP club. And what we do with our VIP club is we offer a way for you to get a complimentary review of your newsletter once each month. Um, if you just send us a preview copy, uh, we'll give you hints and tips and best practices to help you get the most out of your campaign. We do that free of charge as a courtesy. What does that do? It really helps to build relationships with your clients and with your customers. And because things like this have really no tangible cost to you, 
uh, it's a great way to get um, a more loyal following. I mentioned our own VIP program. It's really easy to join. Uh, no membership fees. As I mentioned, we provide over $2,000 in free services uh, by providing a complimentary review of your newsletter each month. We invite our VIPs to exclusive webinars. Uh, you can either send me an email saying that you're interested, or you can uh, quickly uh, hit the yes, no, thank you, or not sure. Uh, we have two VIP programs. One is VIP, the other is VIP Preferred. Uh, let me know if you're interested in either one. We'll give you the details on them uh, once you've responded. Uh, and that will be by way of an email, believe it or not. Uh, we'll wait for another one or two of you or three or four of you to respond uh, before we close out this survey. Okay, thanks for your response there. Uh, so number 55 is to run a birthday club. Uh, one of the great tools mo fairly recently added to Constant Contact is that you can have the system through its autoresponder feature um, send out a uh, happy birthday uh, acknowledgement or an anniversary or work anniversary or any, I mean, you could use your imagination. But the key is that if you plug in a specific date, the system will automatically generate these um, autoresponder uh, emails to go to the individual on the right date. Uh, so, for example, if you have a product or service where you could offer uh, a free gift or a free lunch or whatever on the individual's birthday, that would be a great way to have a another kind of a loyalty club to help your customers celebrate and at the same time it helps you grow your list. When you're running an offer, if someone redeems that offer, uh, why not go ahead and ask your new customers to join their join your mailing list when they redeem that offer. Another way you can go about doing this is by offering a coupon on Facebook where the only way that they get the coupon is if they click this like button and once they click the like button it says okay if you want to download uh, the free content give us your email address and once they've done that in this example uh, we offer a free piece of content um, if you click the download button then it'll ask for the email address and you position it as a way to say uh, let us know where to send your uh, your PDF and so, of course, once they've provided the uh, email address, then you can go ahead and have the system automatically send that out. Of course, what you want to do is let people know that by agreeing to the download that they will be joining your list and they have an option to opt out if they choose to. Number 60 is to offer an incentive to your employees. Why not get your employees excited about growing your email list? Offer a prize to an employee who collects the most email addresses. So we've talked a lot about the 60 ways to grow your list. One of the things that um, you know people ask me all the time is how much is enough if I'm sending out an email? Um, you know it, there are very 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 few people today who really want to get a long long email. Particularly when over half of us, in fact it's much bigger than just half, uh, more than half of us, though, are looking at our email on a smartphone or tablet. So we have a very small screen to work with. And so that email really needs to be focused. In fact, 91% of us are looking at our email on a smartphone or tablet today. So you've got to keep your emails very, very short, very focused. And this way we get much higher engagement. So here's a real example of one of our clients who has gone from sending long complex emails with multiple columns to just a single column email that has a picture at the top of it, a quick headline, one paragraph with a very obvious link to his website. 
One of the great things about having shorter emails now is where best practice about two years ago was to send out one email per month if you were B2B. Now, because the emails are much, much shorter, you can feel comfortable in sending out two a month if you're a B2B. There's a lot of data out there that will tell you what the best practice is for your industry. If you're interested, reach out to me and I'll give you more of that information. What I want to do is share some results with you about one of our clients. This is a B2B company that's based in Florida. And before they were doing email marketing, they were doing all sorts of marketing campaigns. They were using AdWords, paid search. They were paying pretty heavily for search engine optimization. They were running banner ads, print ads, uh, you name it. And they were in the promotional specialties business. And their annual sales, when they first met me back in 2012, were $50,000. Uh, not bad for a small business working out of someone's uh, garage. What happened was, after they started using email marketing, they had an incremental boost in sales of over $250,000. So what we're saying here is that simply in one six-month period, they were able to grow their sales sixfold. And that is pretty extraordinary. So what we're going to do is share a video with you. What I want to share with you in just a moment or two is this client's use of email marketing. This is in her own words. So have a look. Hi, I'm Pamela Fay, co-owner in Prints for Less, founded in 2010. We provide over a million products with your logo on them. Everything from bags, pens, cups, anything you can imagine. In our first year, we averaged 50,000 in sales. Business growth was slow in the first three years. And in 2013, we started using constant contact. With the help of Ken Countess, our business tripled almost immediately. Today, we average over a half a million in sales annually. Everyone at Imprints for Less would like to thank Constant Contact and Ken Countess. Thanks, Ken. So that was a pretty interesting case study. Uh, these are folks that, as you uh, now know, have gone from $250,000 growth in six months to where today their annual sales are about a half a million. Uh, and, and then some. So they've grown tenfold in simply three years. So as I mentioned earlier, email marketing has a return on investment on average of 44 to 1. For this VIP member, this is a client of ours that became a VIP member, with our coaching, their email marketing campaigns are now delivering a return on investment of over 400 to 1. Now, of course, your mileage may vary, but the point is that it is certainly possible. If you're not using an email marketing platform today, we highly recommend that you sign up for Constant Contact. We provide free coaching to help you get things off the ground. With a brand new account, we'll offer an hour of free training. So you can get started today at that website, trythetoolkit.com, or send a text to 99000, just type in my name, Ken, to 99000, and here's what it would look like on your phone, uh, where the system would respond back to you, and then you would simply uh, plug in your information. It will take you all of about two minutes to set up the account on your own. And we'll be able to see that you've done it, and we'll reach out to you and provide you with free training. If you are already using Constant Contact or if you are a new user that signs up through us, we can help you get up to an additional 25% off for the lifetime of your subscription. So that's pretty amazing. If you're not using the service yet, you can get started today for as little as $20. It's month to month. There are no contracts. There's customer support available seven days a week. There's a money-back guarantee. 
And if you do get a paid account, um, if you uh, wish, you can use this URL, toolkit.today. It's not .com. And what we'll do is we'll arrange to get you a free website, uh, uh, rather a free template for your emails that matches the look of your website. So uh, the question really becomes, how can we help you? Of course, you always have the option to do it on your own, or you can have it done for you. Either way, whatever you're comfortable with is great. I mentioned earlier that we have the Gain and Unfair Advantage Marketing Workshop. Uh, you have the URL sitting there in your uh, chat box. It's bit.ly slash Unfair Advantage Workshop. And as I mentioned at the top of the uh, webinar, uh, while we had the early bird price only available through June 30th for attendees of today's webinar only, uh, we'll honor VIP code 1. And so the price of the, the uh, all-day workshop at the Marriott Residence Inn at the Orlando Airport on September 14th will be only $249. Uh, by comparison, we used to conduct email marketing workshops alone, and uh, those were a little bit less, but that's all we talked about was email. At this workshop, we will cover uh, not only email marketing, but social media, web design, search engine optimization, uh, Facebook ads, Google ads, uh, just about all the tips that you need to do an effective job of marketing your business, no matter how big or how small. So I hope uh, to see you at that uh, event. Uh, that's uh, on September 14th. Uh, once again, you can become a VIP. Uh, it's free to join. A uh, question, uh, by the way, is if you would like more information about the Gain and Unfair Advantage workshop, uh, go ahead and click yes or no thank you or not sure, please contact me. And um, we'll, if you uh, would like, we'll go ahead and send you some more information about the event. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, wrap things up. Uh, we mentioned the VIP program. We also have something now called VIP Preferred. Uh, go ahead and shoot me an email if that is something that you would be interested in participating in. Um, our next classes and webinars are uh, easy to find on the web. It's bit.ly slash marketing classes. bit.ly slash marketing classes. And just for attending today's webinar, uh, we're happy to offer you a free 15-minute marketing consultation. You would go to this URL, bit.ly slash meet dash with dash Ken. Uh, keep it all lowercase, bit.ly slash meet dash with dash Ken. There's the 15-minute free consultation. Uh, there are some other options there as well, including if you'd like to... Uh, have me come and speak at one of your upcoming events. There's an option uh, to get more information about that as well. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. The Countess Group does help businesses gain an unfair advantage over their competition with targeted marketing that really does work. We help you hit that bullseye more efficiently than ever before with some specific tools uh, that will really help you drive greater results. Uh, if you do need a speaker for an upcoming event, feel free to reach out to us at the phone number you see on the screen. That's 407-242-4200. If you need other marketing help, please visit our website, www.thecountessgroup.com. I want to thank you all for joining us today. I hope to uh, have you participate in one of our other upcoming events. If you were interested in more information about our LinkedIn webinar, which is on uh, July 21st, uh, go ahead and uh, put that information in the question box, and we'll go ahead and send you information about that. Once again, 
here is our contact information. I want to thank everybody for joining us today. And if you are viewing us on a replay, thank you too for joining us. And I look forward to having all of you join us again at a future event. Have a wonderful day.